three, two, one, Tetris. And we're off. Pretty clean stacks all around. Fractal gonna grab the first Tetris. Andy building up kinda high. So yeah, taking the triple. That's what you do there. Yeah, nice stack can happen everywhere. Offward. Wait, offward? Wait, what do you mean? What's the offward for? I thought that was for qualifying. Vandy said offward before each round? Oh, crap. What? <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we'll do that for the next round. Jeez, I didn't even know! Okay, wow. Is it an announcement? What? I think I read that. Alright, well, that one's on me. not aware of the tournament that I'm supposed to be uh, running. <laughs> On the left, 209 for Fractal, 171 for Nenu. On the right, 214 for Andy, 192 for Tristan. Kingsman will take over next month. Yep. Okay. S wow, okay. See, I got pinged at 8 a.m. I was asleep. Okay, not my fault. <laughs> so, clean scoreboard and do an offward before each round. Okay. So, starting after this game, we'll do that. So, okay, just, just so our players are clear, uh, before each round, so I guess, is that each game? Or is that just like, round of 16? Okay, I'm gonna consume this round of 16. So after this one, uh, do a hard reset, uh, top out with 10k, and then enter an off word. Uh, I'll tell you an off word. It'll be like a qual. And just put that into the leaderboard so that we know you're not playing back a VOD or whatever. All right, on the left, 359 for Fractal, 289 for Nenu. So Fractal gonna be a little bit of an advantage here. You know, partway through at level 18. On the right side, 430 for Andy and 367 for Tristan. So Andy having the advantage over there. We're about 100 lines through level 18 and haven't seen too much craziness or, you know, dig situations. Everyone's been keeping it pretty clean. Nenu setting up for a burn here. The S is the perfect piece. Very nice. Fractal with a bit of a long bar dependency, but there's a long bar, so no problem.
Tetrises all around. We're coming up on level 19. That's at the 130 lines mark. On the right side, it looks like Andy is gearing up for a 600k transition. Tristan could be close to that as well, actually. Has a few more lines to work with. On the left, Fractal could have a near 600 transition. And Nenu gonna transition 463. Yeah, Fractal gonna be way ahead at the start of post. Oh, Tristan getting really high up now. And holding out for a long bar, not gonna come though. But Tristan's done at 535. So Andy's gonna take a first heart on the right side. All right, right, so. <laughs> I think it's awkward. All right, so do a hard reset of your console, uh, which should wipe the leaderboard, get 10,000 or 5,000 or whatever, and then type in sample as the name. All right, on the left side, Fractal Nenu going at it. 693 for Fractal and 613 for Nenu. Oh, Fractal getting kind of high up though. Okay, but nice long bar, okay. Fractal trying to take these burns, but it's super high up. Looking for a long bar ideally, but ooh, some hangs on top of the stack. No, it's not gonna happen. Fractal's gonna be done at 7.05. So Nenu just needs to make a short chase down here of a few Tetrises. Uh, Tristan, you forgot to put the name in. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, there it is, okay. All right, Nenu, you need 706. 706. So just a few lines from here and you'll be good. Or one Tetris, you know, whatever's floating your boat. All right, there it is. Nenu is good. So yeah, if you can <laughs> do a hard reset, uh, get a name on the leaderboard that says sample, that would be fantastic. And I should have said earlier, but you know, that's, that's CTM for you. <laughs> uh, right, I'll give Nenu a heart. First game still counts regardless of the <laughs> failure to follow procedure. Angry Bear, I'm gonna get fired for real this time. Vandy will have had enough. <laughs> King's been waiting in the wings, yep. All right, there we go. <laughs> and I think we're all ready. Uh, yes. But here we go. Game two. Three, two, one, Tetris.
All right, we're off to a start here. Nanu a little bit high up, but able to take some burns and keep the stack safe. On the right side, got some Tetrises happening. Tristan's got three already. And Tristan finally gets a Z for that Tuck setup there. Andy's setting up some burns. Looking for a J, L, or a bar. Okay, there's a bar. Square's good. So Andy should be fine. What the heck just happened to the bottom of the screen? What is that? <laughs> Why does it look like that? Uh, anyway, on the right side, looks like Tristan going to be taking an early lead. 186 to 129 over Andy. On the left side, Fractal with an early lead of 190 to 117. I'm used to the bottom of the screen looking like that. You know, like the green rectangle, the white text on it. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was black instead. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure it's fine. <sighs> All right, we're halfway through level 18 here. On the left, Fractal still leads by around 70,000. And on the right, Tristan leads by around 60,000. Then you're setting up a tuck here. Yep, gonna just put the T in there. And ooh, nice vit. I like it. Look at the adjustment on that T-piece. Crazy. On the right side, Andy has started to catch up here. It's 318 to 360-ish. Yeah, but Tristan is still pouring on the aggression here. You know, not going to make it easy on Andy, that's for sure. Fractal a little bit high up, but a built out left side, and there's a Tetris. Nice tuck setup by Nenu. Out of the blue. We set up a tuck. It's good. I agree, Miles. Nenu's adjustments are kind of sheesh. Hundred lines in. On the left side, looks like Fractal leads by one or two Tetrises. On the right side, it's pretty close, neck and neck, actually. Alright, we're coming up on level 19 now. Nenu poised for a mid-500 transition. Fractal 10 lines away. So yeah, both, like actually all four players with some pretty nice games. And there we go, 560 transition for Nenu. Fractal trying to get the well back open, 559 transition. 
And on the right, Tristan playing super high, waiting for a long bar, not getting it. So 560 transition there. I'm just waiting for a long bar. There it is. And he's super high up as well. Also not getting a long bar. There's one. Nearly a 600 transition. Ooh, Fractal with an overhang on top of the stack. And Andy with a super high up square hang. He has a long bar over though. Oh man. Can Andy survive this? Fractal has uh, brought that down. So Fractal's going to be okay over there. Pretty close game between Fractal and Nenu. Andy. Oh no, these hangs. Andy's done it. 653. What the heck? So Tristan's good. Absolutely brutal miss drops by Andy. Tristan gonna take a second heart. And on the left, Fractal Nenu. Really close, 725 to 714. Looks like Fractal has got a small advantage in terms of lines. And on the right, you can just let me know when you're ready. Don't don't have to do the uh, off word the second time. All right, on the right, looks like Fractal is taking a lead. Around one or two Tetrises. Or did I say left? I don't even know. Uh, here we go. Right side matchup. Three, two, one, Tetris. Fractal Nenu really close still. It's 825 for Fractal, 799 for Nenu. Fractal is going to have the lead now, the few Tetrises. Clean stacks on both sides though. Level 26, 898 to 890. But Fractal has nine more lines to work with. So Fractal keeps aggressive. It's gonna be hard for Nenu to match. The Tetris for Nenu, 935. Tetris for Fractal, 961. Is coming down to the very last few lines. Fractal stacking up high, gets a Tetris. Now waiting for a piece. Ooh, Nenu, kind of high. But does a vertical S tuck. Now waiting for a left side. All right, T piece is okay, but oh, multiple Z's. Needs a long bar, gets it over. Nenu with a max out A09. Fractal already has an A34 though. So Nenu's gonna need a Tetris and more. Have a chance here. Oh, but Fractal with some hangs. Gets a Tetris though. Nenu into kill screen with A50. Still behind though. Fractal is in the lead still. That's gonna seal the deal. What the heck? Wow. <laughs> Some clutch moves by Nenu, but it's just not quite enough as Fractal uh, was up by 30,000. Yeah, that's a one Tetris. <laughs> GG, well done. So Fractal gets a heart for that one, of course. Fractal says, I was so nervous. <laughs> well, you did great. On the right side, 209 to 179. Looks like Andy's gonna have a little bit of a lead here as Tristan is working on cleanup. <laughs> Fractal needs a minute. Very well. <laughs> Clutch the penguin. <laughs> Yeah, Fractal has this adorable little penguin plushie. Tetris for Tristan. Andy taking a few burns, keeping it clean. Nice stacks on both sides. Andy gonna be leading by one or two Tetrises here. Alright, left side players are ready, let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris.
Like, Tristan got uh, three S pieces, which was like perfect for the stack. How often does that happen, huh? <laughs> Andy taking a few burns on top here. Looking for a J, but didn't get it. All right, there's the L piece. That's good. All right, yeah, pretty close game between Tristan and Andy. Out of one Tetris difference. <laughs> Three S pieces, which were perfect for the stack. You're right? You don't hear that often. But it does happen. All right, Tristan a little high up. Nice square burn. And gonna uh, make a safe move with that L. A little bit of a drought forming, but there's a long bar, no problem. On the left side, Fractal 98k and Nenu 116. On the right, 419 for Andy and 426 for Tristan. Fractal playing a little bit dangerous there, but manages to get some long bars to clear the stack down. Now set up for our left side Tetris. Nice. Tristan waiting for a long bar here. Not gonna get it, so gonna make do with some modest burns. All right, right side, we're approaching level 19 transition. 501 for Andy, 483 for Tristan. There we go, Andy with a 526 transition. And Tristan won't be far behind. There's a Tetris 530 transition. Andy working on a little bit of cleanup here. A Tetris for Tristan. When will Garbage Egg compete for the title again? Who knows? <laughs> you gotta wonder about those players who show up for one tournament and then never never return, right? On the left side is neck and neck, uh, 300 to 293. On the right side, 588 for Andy, 609 for Tristan. A pretty close game. And all these matchups, it's one to one. Scrambled. Haha. Uh, 646 for Andy, 666. Wow. Four sixes in a row for Tristan. And nice burns into a Tetris and nice S spin for Tristan. Very nice. Gets a Tetris, goes to 726, and yet 706. With about the same line count, so less than a Tetris difference. Tetris for Andy. Tristan building up super high, looking for some burns, trying to stay alive. Nice double with a T, but ooh. Kind of having the stack blocked off here. Left side needs some help. Nice long bar tap. Super clutch, but oh, misses the next one. Oh, Tristan not going to survive that. So Andy's going to walk away with game three there. Yeah, almost a super clutch survival, but just couldn't make it happen. GG's. Left side, 474 to 441. Uh, looks to be about neck and neck as Nenu is behind in lines a touch. <laughs> Potato 2017, thanks for the follow. Andy is ready for the next game. Oh, Nenu with a J hang on top of the stack. That's actually a little bit frightening. 
There's not a lot of routes to burn. Ooh, and a square hang on the left side. Nenu needs some major help here. Oh, long bar could have been clutch, but no! The L piece doesn't get over! Nenu's gonna be done at 473, ouch. So yeah, Fractal's gonna have game three. Nenu with five long bars? Wait, really? Like five total? <laughs> no way. That's like actually mathematically impossible. Five long bar burst. All right, that's more like it. Uh, everyone's ready. So let's get a countdown for game number four for everyone. Three, two, one, <laughs> Tetris. Alk. Alk? Thanks for the follow. Five long bars in a row is impossible, but you can get five long bars in a set of like six pieces. I think. Match point, baby. Yeah. Fractal up 2 1 and Andy up 2 1. Kristen's got a hole in the stack, so that long bar is only going to score a triple. Next one is a Tetris, though. Kristen, I have a dependent stack. It's a J. All right, LPs for a triple. That's very nice. And another triple just for safety. Gets Tetris ready with the L and takes that Tetris. Looks like Tristan's just gonna be playing dirty for a little bit here. And then he goes for an L tuck to try and resolve this. Uh, kind of overhang situation on the left. And L and a J piece are very nice. Nenu cleaned out. It's a Tetris. Uh, left side, Fractal leads by one or two Tetrises. On the right side, Andy leads by... Uh, probably two or three Tetrises. Ooh, Nenu with a handful of Z pieces and a pretty high up stack. All right, Nenu with some nice moves though, staying alive and Wells back open. There's long bar for Tetris. 205, 228. Hey, look at that. 22,800. Nice score. We go back to a clean stack for Tristan. 329 for Andy, 263 for Tristan. On the left, 337 for Fractal and 296 for Nenu. Clean stacks all around. Yeah, we're taking burns, we're taking Tetrises. 
overall looking pretty good. There's a Tetris for Fractal. We're about 90 lines in. A Tetris for Nenu, Tetris for Fractal. And a one Tetris difference between Fractal and Nenu. On the right side, 429 for Andy and 380 for Kristen. That's going to be two or three Tetrises still. Kristen now getting Tetrises about, uh, about the same rate as Andy. Thing as the lead has not changed very much. Nice efficiency coming out here. Ooh, nice overhang and tuck there by Nenu. We're coming up on level 19. Everyone's on pace for a mid-500 transition, it seems. Fractal setting up a delayed burn. Bakosep, thanks for the follow. Or raid. I said follow, what the heck? Thanks for the raid, party of six. Welcome in. <laughs> My brain doesn't work. Uh, Nenu with the Tetris, gonna have a 560 transition. Fractal currently has 525 at 129. Gets the Tetris, 549 transition, so we're pretty close between Fractal and Nenu. And on the right side, Andy transitions with around 550 something. And so does Tristan, so we're pretty close all around. Nenu getting the well open. Oh, Tristan with a hole on the left side. Needs to get some burns off. Okay, now, crucial dig. Needs to survive this. Get some a few nice long bars. A few more burns. Well, almost open. There it is. And a long bar for a Tetris. Very nice. 630 for Tristan. Andy with a awkward overhang here. Does a few spins on the right side. Is it going to be enough, though? The T to the right. Needs something more to the left. Nice. I don't know if Andy can survive this though. Another hole has formed in the stack. Okay, but gets a tap to the right. Dang alive. Oh, but that. Oh, this burn setup still. The stack is so high. Andy's keeping it alive, but Tristan's taking a lead. Already up by 100k. On the left side, it's 746 to 746. Super close between Fractal and Nenu. Andy's still fighting for survival, but no, that hang on the left is gonna be crucial and fatal. Tristan is good. Gonna tie it up 2-2. Two two. On the left, still super close match. 835 to 809. It's time for a decider indeed. Tetris for Nenu. Fractal with the advantage here. It's about the same score, but a few lines back. What was Andy's top out score? Uh, less than Tristan's. I could look back. Okay, Andy is ready. Uh, left side. Oh, Fractal getting into a rough situation. No, that square hang on the right. No, Fractal's not going to survive that. Fractal's done. 939. Nenu has the lead. It's going to win. Which means we have simultaneous deciders. And Nenu, with one last Tetris, is going to take a 1.1. Very flashy, very nice. The Fractal's ready. Andy and Tristan are ready.
Let's go. Game fives all around. Three, two, one, Tetris. All right, Tristan gonna take the first Tetris, or maybe that was Fractal. I don't know. There's four boards to watch. Too many. <laughs> VTuber playing Tetris. That's FAQ, right? Thanks for the follow. Uh, Tristan getting a little high up here. A left side well built up. Uh, Nene with a bit of a pillar in the middle. A little high up, a little bit dangerous. That LPC is going to be very nice though. At Coster, thanks for the follow. There you go. Nenu looking a lot better now. Guess a Tetris. There's a Tetris for Fractal. Pretty neck and neck over there. On the right, Tristan has moved back to a right side well. 104k, Andy 142, so leading by around two Tetrises. And Tristan's gonna have to take even more burns here. Although Andy in the same kind of situation, but very nice pieces for Andy there. And wait, no, Tetris for Andy. Tetris for Tristan, playing a little bit dirty here. Three rows elevated. Right up with an interesting S piece there. It's set up for a triple with an. Uh, an L, but no such L came. Now Fractal is going to have to take a number of burns here. Now playing one rub dirty. Tetris, Nenu, ooh, Fractal. The L hang on the left side. It's got a flat L on top of it. Ideally, another long bar here for a Tetris, but not seeing one. Fractal's going to be up high. Kind of doing 18-4 or 18-5 kind of business. All right, nice L piece though. Should make this dig away a lot easier. There it is. Well is open. And long bar for Tetris. Very nice. 299 for Fractal at 72 lines. Nanu 279 at 72 lines. Or 280, I guess. Pretty close. About a one Tetris difference. On the right side. Andy leads 299 to 224. Tristan's still working on cleanup. There's a number of holes in various places. Nenu a little high up here. But a few nice burns. Gonna start to get to that little bit of a mess in the middle. Tetris. Nenu should be very safe now. Fractal a little high up. Got a hole in that left side. Maybe looking for an S piece or something. There you go. Fractal cleans it out. And starting to get Tetris ready again. 386 to 322. Fractal leads. On the right side, 405 to 304, Andy leads by a significant amount of around 100,000 points. It's around five Tetrises, I think. Four or five. Now we got clean stacks all around. 
And good thing too, because we're coming up on level 19, and that's... <laughs> that's definitely where you want to have a clean stack. Yeah, you got some time on level 18 when the speed is lower to fix your stuff up. But when it speeds up, ideally, you don't have any mess to deal with. That's no fun. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Fractal a little high up here. Uh, take some nice burns though. Nice adjustment on the Z by Fractal. Might have just saved his skin there. Still waiting for a long bar though. Takes the burn, kinda high up. And he hits transition 524. Just in 467. Oh, Fractal super high and not getting a long bar or anything. Gets a burn, but no, hangs and. JP's on the right. That's gonna be it for Fractal. Absolutely brutal transition. Nenu with a higher score of 534 is gonna take it. On the right side, they're still playing. Andy still leading by a few Tetrises. About two, I would say. All right, so Andy and Tristan going at it. 639 to 555. Andy pretty clean. Tristan very clean as well, low. Andy looking to clean out the left side now. Alright, clean stacks on both sides. 712 for Andy, 647 for Tristan, and Tristan with a few lines more to work with. About actually a whole level. So this is really close. Tetris for Tristan. Tetris for Andy. 803 to 687. There's a Tetris for Tristan, 718. Andy playing super clean right now. Tristan, ready for a Tetris, gets it. Andy's super aggressive right now. I don't know, something's working. 903k for Andy, 790 for Tristan. Here on level 26, Andy 906, Tristan 824. It's quite the lead to make up, and time is running out for Tristan. Andy's just pouring on these Tetrises. Andy now on level 28 with 947. Tristan 926, 20,000 points down. It all comes down to level 28, and maybe even beyond. Let's see, 987 for Andy at 228, 961 at 225 for Tristan. Can Tristan pull out one more Tetris? Oh, but no! Hangs an LP on the left, not gonna be able to get anything over. Andy has a max out. Tristan's gonna be done at 962. Three, two, one, Tetris. Buffed Nenu. Alright, there we go. Clean start for both players. Looking pretty good.
All players got face cam now. Way better. And I think people like to see webcams a lot. Just players don't always, you know, want to go through and set it up. Or they just don't want to have the webcam on. For whatever reason. And before we said, yeah, okay. Webcam on, webcam off, whatever. You know, with cash prizes, though. Ooh. <laughs> now we gotta be serious. We gotta be a serious event. Run by serious people for a serious audience. You know, this is very important. Block stacking. <laughs> and then with an interesting J spin there, trying to fix the stack here. And he's a long bar for this. An L will do for now. There it is. Serious, yes, very serious. There's no laughing matter. Oh, Nenu with another misdrop there. It's a nice T spin tuck though. Thirty million dollars for the winner. Yes, huge, huge cash prizes. Yeah, Nenu just running into a number of situations so far. You know, there was that mist drop earlier. But there we go. Stack is cleaned up. Andy gonna be leading though by uh quite a bit here. 345 to 234. Tetris for Nenu goes to 326, Andy at 414, and Andy also has a few lines advantage. So this is a pretty serious lead for Andy. Tetris for Andy. Nenu a little bit high up. Nice S spin though. Gets a Tetris. Perfect J piece there. Five twenty-nine for Andy, four twenty-two for Nenu. Watching Nenu's stack is so nice. Right, yeah, the adjustments and the creative solves. Really something else. You know, you'd figure that there's only seven shapes, there's only so many ways they could fit together. But every player has their own unique style. Nenu's is uh, very distinctive. Andy stacking up super high, gets a Tetris 602 at 116. Absolutely crazy game from Andy so far. Gets two Tetrises. And could maybe even get two more Tetrises before level 19 hits. There's one. Oh, but there's a double. So 673 transition for Andy, 569 for Nenu. Very respectable for Nenu, but Andy is just going crazy, so... Gonna have the way higher score. 
a long bar hang on the left for Andy. And he's going to take a few safety burns. They're going to be giving a little bit of space to Nenu here. Andy, the Tetris. 732. Nenu, 624. These stacks were both. Tetris, Nenu, 657. 100k difference still. Andy going to be holding on to that lead. Tetris for Andy. Andy taking a few burns, piling long bars on the left side. Andy still leads by 100k. Tetris for Nenu. Andy's super clean, gets a Tetris. Nenu waiting for a long bar here. Tetris for Nenu. Use safety burns. Nenu Tetris ready. Gets a long bar. Boom. Tetris 814. Tetris for Andy 916. Still holding on to a 100k lead. Ooh, Nenu with a little bit of a questionable left side. Needs to get some pieces to fold under there. Just not having them though. Now it's kind of a spin setup, but apologies. What a mess for Nenu. Needs to get this down. And he's still taking Tetrises and just piling on this lead. Nenu cleans it away though. 832, Andy 984, almost with a max out. There it is. Andy with a max out into 26. Nenu going aggressive on 27 because what else are you supposed to do? Gets a Tetris, goes to 900k. But Andy is just still piling on Tetrises. Gets another one, goes to A88. So almost out of 1.1. Nenu with a Tetris. Goes to 946. I think this is a done deal. Andy's just got too many points to make up here. A square hang for Nenu, unfortunate. He's a Tetris though. Goes to 981. Ah, uh, T-Hang, that's gonna be it for Nenu. 981, it's final score. Andy, B62. And another Tetris, B98, B99, 9. And there it is, CO2, 1.2 game for Andy. Very nice. That's a tough game to beat for anybody. <laughs> Both brothers doing a 1.2. Yeah, well done. And they're both ready for the next game, so let's go. Three. Two, one, Tetris. Ert is my name, and Burak12399, thanks for the follows. Dog got back to back 1.2? What? 1.1 1. 1 losing score for Aaron. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Dog can go ham, that's for sure. We need to ban dog. Dog is too strong. Anyone, please stop him. <laughs> All right, three Tetrises to start for both players here. Nenu looking for an S. Gets it. Now maybe a T would be nice. Hey, there's a T. Awesome.
some of Nenu's adjustments are beyond my comprehension. Uh, Andy setting up a few burns here, trying not to make a long bar dependency there with the square. It's a Tetris for Andy. Andy, nice Z spin. Uh, left side needs uh, something. Andy's gonna stick a J on top of there. Three burns, very clean. Ooh, Nenu with a weird overhang. Now needs to deal with the left side. That S piece just kind of sticking out. Alright, Nenu working this down. Looking for a long bar here. Kind of a dependent stack, actually, getting really high up now. Takes a single with a square. Another line. Alright, brings it down a little bit. But kind of a rough situation here for Nenu. LPs for the left side is perfect. Not a fabulous sequence here to deal with. Nenu's holding on though. It's a J for the left. It's perfect. Andy's starting to take a lead. Nenu sets up the T-spin, lands the T-spin, very nice. Opens up that left side, brings it down two lines. Looking a lot better now. What's with all the squares? <laughs> There's a pillar of square over there. Back to back, 1.19 plus for dog. Oh my god. Almost back to back 1.2. Alright, but there we go. Nenu finally cleaned out. But Andy is going to be holding on to a lead after that. 376 Andy, 280 for Nenu. Alright, Andy with 451, Nenu 372. Nenu a little bit high up, looking at this left side. Go for a J. Long bar's good. And there's another one for a Tetris. Now Andy has a little bit of a weird stack. Long bar would be nice here, but it's not gonna come. Alright, Andy goes for the triple. And it's starting to bring this stack down. And gets Tetris ready again, but pretty bumpy field on the right there. T is going to help a lot there. 492 Andy, 427 Nenu. We got about 15 lines until 19. Tetris for Andy. Tetris for Nenu. And there we go. Transition 564 for Andy. 497 for Nenu. So about a 60,000 point difference at the start of 19. Tetris for both players. Andy with a nice burn. Kind of a high up stack, but overall pretty safe, able to take burns still. Can't use that long bar to score, but the next one does. 
Tetris for Andy. Goes to 619. Nenu holding out for a long bar. Gets it. 577. A pretty close game. Just Andy still in the lead here. 649. And Tetris for Nenu. 605. Two Tetris difference, I'd say. Maybe even less. And nice Z spin by Nenu. Into a Tetris. And long bar for the left side. Perfect. Tetris ready once again. Gets a Tetris. 662. Tetris for Andy, 7.30. Oh, but a misdrop. Ooh, Nenu's stack is looking pretty nasty here. It's a Lombard for a Tetris, though. Now just trying to clean up. Right, a few good pieces are going to bring the stack down. Andy with a hang on the left side. Yeah, not getting the LPs for the ideal tuck. But does a nice J move and a tuck underneath it. Nenu is cleaned out, 700k. Andy, 793. At 100k difference, maybe a little bit less. There's a Tetris for Nenu. Tetris for Andy. Super close here. Well, in terms of lines. In terms of score, Andy still with a little bit of a lead. Tetris for Andy, 862. Nenu, 768. Looking for a long bar, does not come at the right time. Takes a few burns. Dang, Tetris ready, there it is. Tetris for Nenu goes to 805 at level 26. Andy's got 867. Uh, make it 8, is that 9, 899 at level 26. Tetris, 932 for Andy. Going absolutely nuts right now. Tetris for both players. Andy once again with a huge lead coming into the final few levels. Tetris for Nenu, 905. Nenu making safe moves. Nice Tetris, 941. Into level 28 with 10 lines to go until 29. There's a Tetris for Nenu, 976. And he has a max out on 27. Nenu holding out, trying to be aggressive here, but no long bar coming. That's going to be it. Nenu's done. 976 once again. Andy with a commanding lead and about to hit a 1.1. And who knows what Andy's plans are for after 29. Come on, Andy. Where is Longbar? There it is. So, B14. 1.1 for Andy. Yep, Andy just absolutely on fire right now. Alright, Nenu ready for the next game. Andy ready as well, let's go. Match point already. Andy looking to sweep. 3, 2, 1, Tetris. So Andy got a 1.2 in the first game, 1.1 in the second game. Dang. Some fierce Tetris. Nenu, eight lines in. There it is, first Tetris. Andy with a few burns. Oh, 
both players around 70,000 points in the very early moments here. Oh, Nenu. Six had S piece uh, on the left side, making a hole. It's gonna cost at least two burns. Square would be nice for Nenu. Hey, there's a square. Alright, clean stacks on both ends. Andy 194, the new 174. Pretty high stack here for Nenu, but able to take burns. Ooh, okay. Takes a triple with the L. And nice burn with a J. Gets rid of that hole in the stack, no problem. Uh, it would be nice to get a long bar, though. Hello? <laughs> Alright, Tetris for Nenu. And sets up the Z spin tuck with the L. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> what a move. It's kind of showing off. I don't know. It was a clean stack, so. I don't know. Is it showing off or is it just being efficient? <laughs> Who needs stack rabbit? Just ask Nenu what the best move is. <laughs> stack rabbit, of course. Greg's uh, Tetris AI. Uh, Nenu getting a little high up here. Long bar to the left is good. Gets the well open. There's a Tetris, no problem. 430 for Andy. Re something for Nenu. Nenu is ahead in lines as well. So Andy with a pretty strong lead here. Yeah, the news flag there is Indonesia. Yeah, the Poland <laughs> Poland flag looks very similar. White and red. Andy with the Tetris, but a hole in the stack to deal with. Uh, J piece and T are perfect, actually. So there we go, 571 for Andy. Nenu about hit transition does so with a 486. So Andy's gonna have a comfortable lead here into pre-transition or post. Uh, once again, Andy trying to squeeze out a 600 transition, but I don't think it's going to happen. 576 for Andy. Yeah, Andy on pace to get another game past a max out this game. So we'll see. Can Nenu start clawing his way back? Or is Andy just going <laughs> to 
<laughs> do some crazy stuff and get another 1.1. Let's see. Nenu stacking pretty solid at the start of post here. Looking for a long bar. Takes a triple. Making all the right moves. There it is, Tetris. And Tetris ready again. Andy 623, not having a lot of luck in the very early moments here of post transition. It's a Tetris, goes to 654. Nenu in the lead now. Tetris for Andy, 713. Nenu at 751. Gets a Tetris, goes to 780. Nenu is ahead by a number of lines, about uh, 15 lines. So in terms of pace, Andy may be in the lead. But Nenu still needs to keep aggressive. Tetris for Andy. Nenu forced to take a few burns here. Stack still clean though, as some nice pieces showed up. Tetris for Nenu, 882 on level 26. Andy with a Tetris, 868 on level 25. So Andy could make a return here. Nenu trying to be aggressive. All right, builds out the left side, gets a Tetris, goes to 957. Andy with a Tetris, 935, but a level back. So yeah, Andy in the lead in terms of pace. Tetris for Nenu, 997, almost with a max out. The square to the left, it's a long bar to the right. Gets a max out, A32, but Andy has one as well on level 27. Another Tetris for Nenu. Oh, but Andy with some critical hangs on top of the stack and can't get any pieces over. So I guess Andy fumbles on level 27. Nenu is good and gets a level 30. Yeah, and Andy's camera went like... Whew. Well done, Nenu. Max out level 30 to stay in the match. Nenu's not done with Andy yet. What the heck, Andy? What is your webcam doing? <laughs> what is... What? <laughs> Andy is leaving our mortal realm. <laughs> Alright, Nenu is ready. Uh, Andy... Did Andy say ready in chat? I saw a GG. Alright, there's ready. Here we go. Game 4. 3, 2, 1, Tetris. So Andy had a 1.2, and then a 1.1, and then a max out. You know, it looks like a downward trend, but... <laughs> three max out games in a row. Three max out games in a row is going to win you most Tetris matches against most people. All right, kind of a rough start here for both players. Andy playing a row dirty. Nenu kind of high up on that left side. Able to start finding some burns though. It's going left and right, alternating sides.
Andy still playing column two. The very unconventional. There's a Tetris. Andy probably just did a adjustment into like the eighth dimension. So, you know, I can't really see why it was a good move, but it probably was. <laughs> That's how I feel watching uh, top players sometimes. They'll make a move that I don't understand and I'll just say, you know what? Maybe I'm just not good enough to understand. <laughs> but here we are, stacks are clean. There's a Tetris for Nenu, 59,000. Andy, oop, starting to try and take burns, but had to block the well for a bit. No burn, 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 but there it is, Tetris, 157 to 82. You know, despite the weird well positions that Andy was pulling off there, still managed to keep scoring Tetrises. Tetris for Nenu. And another one, JP's is perfect for the left side. <laughs> Andy's shaking his head. And that's how it feels when you have to you don't have a spot for that S, so you set up a delayed burn, and you're just like, oh. Tetris for both players. Andy still in the lead. 73 lines, 255 to Tetris for Andy, 300k. Another Tetris for Andy. Nenu, 267. Andy, 325. Clean stacks on both sides. Of course, you expect no less. JTuck by Nenu. Ooh, put some hangs right on top of the stack! He's a long bar right now to survive! Oh no, that's not gonna happen! Lethal misdrop for Nenu. It's gonna cost the game and the match. Unlucky indeed. Andy396 is good! So we move on to the red bracket. Game 1's 3, 2, 1, Tetris. <laughs> the background on Huff's board. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Alex T, a little bit high up here. Already had a kind of a funny spire to deal with. And that spire is only getting taller. Oh man. Alex T knows no fear. Clearly. Uh, holding out for a Z. Okay, there it is. And alright, rounds out the center well, gets the Tetris. And there's a T spin. And Alex T gonna be bring it down. Dang, Alex. It's risky. Noodle up a little bit high, but able to take burns, and there's a long bar for a Tetris. So on the left side, looks like Noodle's gonna have the lead in the early moments. On the right, Sidnev and Huff, neck and neck, 115 to 116.
<laughs> what is that emoji? All right, Alex T looking to deal with a f number of holes in the stack. It's all pretty low, so it's not a dangerous situation, but just a number of burns. You know, burns can cost you. Noodle is holding out for a J, but it comes one too late. Now needs a long bar. There it is. Noodle stack looking much cleaner now. 199k. Alex T, 123. And on the right, 216 to 204. Yeah, Sidnev and Huff, uh, pretty close still, uh, as we're about halfway through level 18. On the left, Noodle still holding on to an advantage over Alex T. And when it comes to playing Alex T, you're definitely going to want to have the lead into 29. Hopefully by more than a Tetris, because... <laughs> you never know, Alex T could pull out some nasty shenanigans past 29. Sidnev taking a few burns. Uh, ZP is perfect. Tetris Sidnev, Tetris Huff. Uh, Tetris for Huff, 388, Sidnev taking a few burns now, so Huff is going to be able to pull ahead a little bit here. Nice time to LPs though for Sidnev, and clean out that stack, no problem. And it's going to be down by about a Tetris. Tetris for Alex T. On the left, Noodle leads by almost 100k. Uh, maybe even more in terms of pace. Noodle has just been playing a super clean game so far. And Alex T got into a number of uh, dig situations. Noodle taking a number of burns here. Got a hole in the stack at the bottom. Gonna impede on that pace a little bit. Oh, Sidnev getting super high up. Actually, gets a J for a double. Square gets over. Super close call there. But not quite out of the woods yet. And approaching level 19 as well. This is a rough position to be in for Sidnev. Alex T hits. Transition 486. Noodle is going to have maybe even a 600 or more transition. Sidnev bringing this down. Clutch survival there by Sidnev. 482 at 129. Not even that far behind Huff. Noodle taking burns. Alex T already on level 20. And still behind in score. Alright, there it is. Sidnev hits transition. Already has a 508 and gets a uh, Tetris set up once again. Noodle hits transition 588. Yeah, couldn't make use of May Tetrises there, but still has a strong lead over Alex T. Has two levels back and still ahead in score. Sidnev taking a few burns, gets a Tetris. On the left side, 608 to 606, but a two level difference, giving Noodle the lead. On the right, 543 to 585, and a one level difference. Uh, yeah, maybe actually, uh, it's about the same line count. So Huff in the lead there, Sidnev trying to survive once again. Left side, ooh, nice long bar tap, super clutch. Uh, Sidnev, double long bars, perfect move there.
Sidnev once again has to try and survive quite the risky, I don't know about risky, but just uh, high up stack. Sidnev brings it down. Oh, Alex T kind of high up. Needs to get some huge taps to the left. Alex T is super high up. I don't know if this is going to be survivable. It's a few nice taps, but is it enough? Still super high stack. Better top out. That's it. Alex T, 658. Noodle in trouble as well, but has a higher score. You're going to take the first game. On the right, Sidnev and Huff still playing. Huff with the lead, 748 to 689. So pretty close game, actually. 754 to 762. Huff has the lead in terms of pace. Tetris for Sidnev, 787. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Huff still kind of clean, though. Gets a Tetris, 811. Sidnev, 819. And has to start setting up some burns, but nice tuck there with a Z. And could go for a dirty here. Left side, players are ready. Give you the countdown. Three, two, one, Tetris. Right side, 859, 881. Huff still leads. Sidnev taking a few burns. We're on level 27, running out of time. Tetris for Huff, 919 on level 28. Sidnev, 902, can get one more Tetris. If Huff can get a Tetris here, oh, but a hang of a square on the left. Gets a Tetris, go to 954. There's a Tetris for Sidnev. Tetris for Huff, it is uh, 29 with 992. Uh, Huff's gonna give up though. Sidnev would have to play some crazy post 29. I don't know if it's possible, needs 993. Level 30. Oh, sitting up for the Tetris. Gets a Tetris. Goes up 991. 993. Oh my god. Sidnev does the chase down in 29. Unbelievable. Unreal. Level 30 chase down. What a play. A well-deserved heart for Sidnev there. He saw the opportunity, he took it, he got it! Way to go, Sidnev. <laughs> That's going on the Game Scout highlight reel. And on the left side, you know, there's still some Tetris happening. Uh, Alex T going for a super aggressive dirty, what the heck? Alright, just gonna take the burn with the J though. <laughs> At a Game Scout, you see in this? <laughs> and he says, yep. You know, he's he's written down a timestamp. <laughs> he's got it. Alright, Alex T cleans it away. Looking a lot better now. Sidnev, I think, taking a quick breather. <laughs> After such an intense game. Alex T is uh, 206. Noodle 163. Alright, players on the right hand side are ready. Let's go. Into game two. Three, two, one, Tetris. Yeah, definition of clutch right there. Sidnev taking the signature of one push down. Nice tuck by Noodle on the left side. Gets a Tetris. Goes at 236. Alex T is at 281, but once again ahead in lines. So about equivalent, I would say, in pace between Noodle and Alex T right now. Noodle playing one row dirty, but it's working out just fine so far.
Oop, Alex T hanging that long bar on the left. And the game says, here you go, have a whole bunch more. Just kind of rubbing it in, what the heck. Long bars. And there we go, Alex T throws a long bar to the left, leveling it out. Noodle 337, Alex T 361, about a seven line difference. So Noodle probably with the lead. On the right, 162 to 103. Sidnev with the lead as Huff is taking some burns here. Huff with a safe move on that L, not going absolutely nuts. Why I watch competitive Nest Tetris? It looks so easy, but when I try it myself, can't even get 600k. Yeah, that's 100% true. These masters make it look easy. It's like, oh yeah, you just arrange the blocks and you get the Tetrises. I don't see what's so hard. <laughs> Alright, left side, they're approaching level 19. 502 for Noodle, 484 for Alex T. Yeah, backseat Tetris is much easier than driver's seat Tetris. <laughs> All right, Alex T, 514 at early 19. Noodle, 550. Sidnev with a line spin, very nice. Uh, Xard play ninety three. Thanks for the follow. Zard. Zard DP. Zard play. Uh, I don't know. Alex T worked on some dig here. Gets stack open, gets a Tetris. 567. Noodle 680. So with a lead in the early post here, looking good. On the right, Sidnev and Huff. 406, 319, Sidnev leads. And Alex T. Setting up pretty high for a Tetris. It's no spot for that square, so it's going to end up creating some burns. And here's Alex T playing way up high, trying to get these burns off. Noodle super high as well, trying to survive now. Some very nice long bars though. Okay. Nice burns by Noodle, staying alive. It's that T to the left, huge five tap there. Noodle gonna survive. 778 to 671. Noodle leads still. Ooh, Alex T. Oh no, that missed drop. And he's gonna be done at 671. Noodle good for a second game. And on the right, we're coming up on level 19. Sidnev once again super high up and trying to survive here. Oh, Sidnev, this is risky. A few burns, 10 lines to transition. Sidnev needs an absolute clutch move here once again. Oh, but these pieces are just absolute trash. What a five tap, five lines to go. Oh, that, that left side, I don't think it's gonna happen. No, Sidnev's done at 5-11. So Huff just needs a few, what, like one or two Tetrises? Huff with the well open, needs to get 5-12, 5-12. Alright, left side, players are ready. 
Here's your countdown. Three, two, one, Tetris. Huff, 514 is good. I'm gonna grab a heart and make it one to one against Sidnev. Sidnev is ready. And Huff is ready. So right side, here you go. Three, two, one, Tetris. How the match has been over here? Any highlights? <laughs> uh, yes, most recently, Sidnev was down by a Tetris into 29 and managed to go for a center world Tetris and beat Huff's game in game one. Uh, which was kind of cool, I think. <laughs> Sidnev is nuts? Yes. All right, left side, 147 for Noodle, 154 for Alex T. On the right, wait. Did I say that? My memory is acting up. Uh, on the right, 96k for Sidnev, 81k for Huff. In my brain, I always feel like as soon as I say something, I'm like, wait, did I say the wrong name? Alex T, going for some burns here. Kind of high up, but there we go. Well is open. There's a long bar for our Tetris. Looks like Noodle is going to have the lead once again. Ooh, that long bar for Alex T. Woo! Okay. Super high stack. Alex T gets it over, no problem. Uh, Sidnev looking to clean up a little bit here. Kind of a weird stack formed. Keyboard cheater. Uh, here in CTM, we don't believe in such a thing as a keyboard cheater. Just keyboard players. Alright, right side. 204 for Huff. Not pulling ahead too much, though so Sidnev still in the game here. So 192 to 228. On the left, 378 to 333. Noodle with a lead in both uh, lines and score, so that's pretty huge. Daniel Otuga, thanks for the follow. And Spish Kairos. <laughs> Spish. Oh, Huff getting a little high up here. It's looking kind of dangerous. Nice S piece, though. Alright, Huff handling that situation pretty well. And almost has. The right side open. There it is. I'm not gonna use the long bar right away. Maybe he wants to get rid of the hole first. Yep, gonna do it with that L. But in that effort, another hole gets created, unfortunately. K 
keep thinking Jeffrey Tetris is Jerpy Dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope. Alright, Alex T his transition 469. Noodle has 565. Uh, Huff would have liked an L piece there, but did not get it. And now, once again, in a kind of a rough dig situation. Huff throws a Z. The left. It's a tuck off, but ooh, this is a really high stack. And level 19 is approaching. Huff trying to survive. Noodle hits transition. 619. Huff alive. Remarkably. Nice survival there. 10 lines of transition, not out of the woods yet, though. Alright. That's much better. Huff looking for some pieces to get this uh, right side open. There it is. Right side's open. Long bar, please. There it is. End of 19, 368. Nice survival by Huff. Game Scout says, Huff, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Huff, bro. Sitting up, sent him for one, one last Tetris uh, before 19. Uh, doesn't get to have it though. I'm gonna take that safety triple and into a Tetris. So Huff has. Uh, what is it? 445. Sitting up with the pace advantage. On the left hand side, 740 for Noodle, 730 for Alex T, but a two level difference, meaning that Noodle has the pace lead. Tetris for Noodle, 7.99. A nice Tetris for Noodle. On the right side, 5.57 to 5.54, pretty close game. Huff with a few concerning moves, but is gonna survive that just fine. Noodle, very concerning, gets a Tetris. Starts bringing the stack down. But Noodle Stack, kind of messed up. It's a long bar for a dirty right down the middle. He's a single. Eight, nice, nice. Noodle surviving. Alex T, 963. Might actually start pulling ahead. Noodle needs to clean this away to have a chance. Alex T about to hit a max out, 998. On the right hand side, 659 to 655, really close game. Oh, Noodle, the missed drop right on top of the stack. And doesn't open it up right away. Noodle's in trouble. Noodle holding out, but no long bar, not gonna happen. Alex T is good with a max out on level 29. Noodle says, can I go to the bathroom? Yes. In fact, I would encourage it. Uh, don't hold it in. Not worth it. <laughs> on the right side, Huff getting into a dangerous situation. Ooh, that hang around top of the stack. That's going to be fatal. Huff is done at 7.07. Sitting at 797 is good. So I'm gonna pick up another heart there. Thanks, so never some crazy twenty nine play today. Level thirty, there you go.
<laughs> so fast. Very fast. Noodle is back. Welcome back. That was quick. All right, Noodle and Alex T are ready. Huff and Sidnev. I don't know. Huff's ready. There we are. Let's go. Simultaneous game fours. Three, two, one. Tetris. I wonder if we have stream latency for Noodle. I'm gonna try refreshing the browser source. What we got here, Sidnev, the stack blocked off, but gets it back open. Looking for, uh, yeah, J is good. And there it is, I just ready again. Noodle working on a cleanup as well. Marsh James, thanks for the follow. Noodle going for a triple there. Uh, Sidnev getting super high up. Very concerning. Gets a long bar. Not going to clear anything though. It's going to fill in the stack for later. But will there be a later? Sidnev trying to survive. No, can't get that long bar to the left. Ouch. Sidnev done at 38,000. Huff is good for a very quick game four. Sidnev ready to do the next one. Game 5 decider between Sidnev and Huff. They're ready. Let's go. 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Alright, on the left, 224 for Noodle, 230 for Alex T. And we see the same about 10 line difference. So Noodle ahead and pace. Alex T kind of center welling. It seems to be going okay so far. And on the right, early moments of game five, 68,000 for both players. Ooh, Alex T. Had a rough stack on the left side. Now needs to start cleaning this away. All right, Tetris for Alex T. 367 to 341. Noodle leading in pace. Uh, on the right side, Sidnev super high up, trying to survive once again. Clutch uh, J piece. And not. Ooh, actually, nice moves there with a the long bar. And there you go. Sidnev gets the stack back open. I 
goes for the S verse with the J. And gets a long bar for our Tetris. There it is. 196 for Sidnev. 177 for Huff. So pretty close game on the right. What? Did you see that square adjustment by Huff? <laughs> that was something else. Alright. On the left hand side, Alex T. It's transitioned around 508. Uh, noodle 550 at 120. So once again with the pace lead. Alex T quite high up though, misses the T spin, but gets a burn and a Tetris. They're gonna survive that just fine. Alex T with a triple and starting to clear away this mess. Another triple. Alright, opens up the left side. And there it is. It's a stack back open, ready for a Tetris. Noodle 657 on level 20. And Alex T 597 on level 22. Maitre Huiten, thanks for the sub. Appreciate the support. Alex T 602, messy stack, trying to clear this away. Looking pretty nasty, but Alex T is working it down bit by bit. On the right, 444 for Sidnev and 384 for Huff. So Sidnev is going to be uh, in the lead, heading into transition in around 20 lines. Back on the left side, Noodle Clean 705. Level 22 still. Oh, not for that long bar, gets a Tetris. Another Tetris goes to 763. And Alex T, 680 on level 25. The Noodle holding on to a lead and also has a line's advantage. Tetris for Noodle. Alex T with a few nice burns there. Love the T-piece. Gets a Tetris, goes to 721. Noodle, 802. Sidnev and Huff about to hit level 19. Sidnev 564. Noodle super high up. Gets a Tetris. Gets another one for the right side. So gonna survive that. 868 now. This is Alex T's chance to uh, try and chase down. As Noodle is gonna be burning for quite a bit here. Ooh, that left side needs help. Longbar can't get over. Noodle is done at 869. Alex T, you need 870 to win. Tetris for Huff. Sidnev and Huff going at it on the right side. Alex T has one Tetris left on level 28. So this might require 29. Uh, wait, 30,000 points? Oh, blocks off the well. Okay. Just needs that Tetris, and I think that should be good. Yes, 872. Alex T is good. All right, on the right side, we're on level 21, 696 to 618, Sidnev leads. And Alex T has tied it up, which means we're going into game five on the left. Alex T says BRB, all right, don't be too long. Huff taking a few burns. Got a Tetris, goes to 659. Clean stacks on both sides. Huff looking for a long bar. There it is. Tetris 688. 
Sitting at 817, but uh, a few lines ahead. Ooh, Huff, kind of high up. Taking some burns, trying to survive. And it's safe. Nice moves. Oh no, Huff misses a tap. Can't get the long bar to the right. That's going to be it for Huff. 696. He is done. Sidnev is good for game five. So well done, Sidnev. The ridiculous survivals and the insane level 30 chase down has earned you a victory. Alright, and it looks like Noodle and Alex T are ready. Let's get that set up. Uh Baba Booey. Okay. Let's go. Game five, Noodle and Alex T. Okay, this is top eight, that's wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Top sixteen. Three, two, one, Tetris. Top 8 is the one that comes after Top 16. You can't see uh, Alex T's uh, full keyboard cam, but it's visible on the stream, which there will be a record of, so it's good. Alright, start of this game, 60,000 for Noodle, 118 for Alex T. And line spin for Alex T, very nice. Alex T going for the Z spin tuck. Oh, actually line spin, okay. That's yeah, gonna leave behind an overhang though to deal with. Alexi has a little triangle on the right there, but does not get the long bar to throw it away nicely. Felino hitting three line spins in consecutive pieces. What? That's ridiculous. Where are Alex T's hands? Yeah, right at the ends of his arms. And if you really want to see, you can go to uh, his Twitch page where you'll see the full uh, webcam shot. Spin Lino. 
All right, 273 for Noodle, 219 for Alex T. Noodle with a pretty clean stack here. Uh, Alex T as well. Both players looking pretty fine. Noodle gonna have the advantage though. In terms of pace. Best way to watch this game is through Noodle's screen. Alex T hand cam. It's on his Twitch. Uh, the layout doesn't show it, but you can see on the Twitch page. And since a requirement to play in CTM is to be saving VODs to Twitch, there will be a record of it. So, all good in that regard. Just shift click bruh. I mean, I could do it, but it would require making another source and doing more effort than it's worth. Anyway, uh, Alex T is on transition, 600k at level 20. Noodle. 600k at 131 that is level 19 Tetris for noodle 625 in terms of score it's neck and neck but in terms of pace noodle has the advantage Tetris for Noodle 676. Seven hundred nine to seven seventy one. Alex T pulling ahead in score, but again, the two level difference may account for that. Tetris for Alex T. Noodle well blocked off, trying to get it back open. All right, there's the J. Now looking for a long bar, maybe a few long bars. This is getting kind of nasty for Noodle. Left side needs help. A long bar could be very nice. Okay, it's not gonna come. Noodle just trying to survive right now. Super high up. And oh, that left side is so high. No, the, the J is gonna hang. Noodle is done. 7.52. Alex is good. He's gonna take it into Cider. There you go. Okay. There's a max out for Alex T. Let's see. It'll play it out. Oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a few missed drops there. 
There's the end of that game. All right, players are ready. Let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. And this is a real game this time, for real. Alex T is stacking a little bit high. Uh, left side needs a little bit of help. Sidnev kind of high as well, but gets the right side open. Long bar not showing up. Takes a double with the T. It blocks the well, but it's a safe move. And there's a long bar for a Tetris. With Sidnev playing so high. The long bar over though, no problem. Alex T is super high up as well. Oh, where's the long bar? Oh, man. No, can't get it to the left side. Alex T is done. Sidnev is good for the first game. <laughs> we take those? Yes, you beat the score of 50,000. Alex T says BRB again. All right, we're ready for game two. Let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Pretty clean starts here. The Tetris for Sidnev. Another Tetris for Sidnev. We got clean stacks on both sides. You know, they're fitting geometry together. It's going pretty well so far. Ooh, nice Z-spin by Alex T, but without an L piece, it's not going to resolve too cleanly. Yeah, so a number of burns there for Alex T, but there it is. The stack is fixed up. 232 to 214, small lead for Sidnev.
Sinev with a messed up left side to deal with now. Could have gone for a J piece there, but the game said no J for you. Forget OJ, you got no J. <laughs> Hello, Doge. Sidnev with a nice square. Sidnev almost done cleaning out here. One more line to go. There it is. Sinev putting that long bar to the left. We got one more dependency there. Sinev holding up for a L piece. There it is. And that T is good. And there we go, Sinev bringing this down. Tetris for Sinev, 377. Alex T, 524. Victross, thanks for the follow. Oh, the bear took a second to show up, that was funny. Uh, Sinev. Cleaning up the left side a little bit there. Tetris for Alex T. One and twenty-nine lines, about to hit nineteen. And Mo Rogers, thanks for the follow. And monthly Tetris. Hello, hello. We're got the top eight going here. This is red brackets. Sidnev and Alex T. After this, we move on to top four. That's unusual. I'm used to wrapping up the stream on monthly Tetris, not monthly Tetris 2. Is that the plan, Vandy? We're gonna finish the stream here. Anyway, we're hitting transition. 465 for Sidnev, 686 for Alex T. Has there been a red bracket rant? Nah, not really my thing. Raid back when done. <laughs> Alright, ping pong. Sounds good. 518, Sidnev. Trying to get this well open. Can be too wholesome to rant, uh, sometimes. Or maybe I'll just randomly lash out at people for no reason. <laughs> Alex T playing with no hands. Nah, nah, you can see his hands on his stream. 604 for Sidnev, 780 for Alex T. He's got the lead in uh, pace, it would seem. It's another Tetris there, goes to 800 at 24. Thanks for the one bits, uh, Al and Nerd the Box. Sidnev trying to get this well back open. <laughs> Monthly Tetris, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Alright, Al, we see you. Okay. Uh, Tetris for Sidnev, 738. Alex T, 923. 
About a 15 line difference. It's a lot for Sidnev to make up. Tetris for Sidnev. Got a clean stack going, but so does Alex. Okay, there's a Tetris for Alex T. 966, about to hit a max out. Sidnev with a Tetris at 840. Alex T, max out on level 28. Sidnev working on a few more lines, cleaning out. Square and Z are perfect. Sidnev. Okay, gets his left side filled in. 881. Alex T has A80 though. So that's 1.08. And level 30, still playing. Sidnev uh, needs a uh, pretty insane chase down to win this. That's one more Tetris available on 28, and then it's 29 speed. Alex T is done at 1.089. There's a Tetris for Sidnev. Almost at the 1.0. There it is, 1.0. But needs 1.09 to win. That's not going to happen. GG's though, nice max. Alex T, of course, with the higher score. Gotta take that heart. Alright, Vandy, we're gonna put a limit on bits. <laughs> so, Al, thanks for the, like, 10 bits total. <laughs> and Nerd the Box. Breeder Dad, Sun Deco. Uh, Aurora. <laughs> there you go, Al with 184 bits. Alex T, BRB. Okay, I think Alex T is gonna win the um, most BRBs in a Masters event prize. The score, one to one. Winner of this goes to top four and gets at least $25 in prizes. Big money. Axis, thanks for the follow. And also only MX13 followed as well. says $25 is a battery for my phone. That doesn't even make sense. Alright, Alex T is ready. Let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Sidnev chokes the 18 start. <laughs> Thanks, Pooh. It's a Tetris for Alex T to start out. Sidnev with a signature push down single points. Alex T using uh, push down more frequently though. Line spin for Sidnev. Vandy got to see that one. Binion, thanks for the follow. Alex T, 
Uh, kind of has the stack messed up here. Got a number of rows of garbage to clear away. Long bar would be nice. There it is, Tetris. And Alex T, once again, kind of a weird uh, J placement. I need to get a number of good pieces here. Alright, T is nice. And T for the left. Heard the box, 18 bits. Says, okay, no more one bit donations. Ah, oh, thanks. We appreciate the uh, combined, what is it, 50 bits you gave or whatever. <laughs> Throwing a lot of pennies our way, one by one. Tetris for both players, 261 for Sidnev, 195 for Alex T, which checks out as you know, Alex T has been doing a little bit of cleanup here and there. Uh, Poke Nerd, I think for the bits, the uh, the cost is shouldered by the customer. You know, when you buy 100 bits, it costs more than a dollar. But for the streamer, it's one bit, one cent. Three forty-three, Sidnev, three fourteen, Alex T. So Sidnev leading in pace right now. Tetris for Sidnev. Got a little overhang there to do a tuck. Yep, L piece. We're approaching level 19. Got 10 lines for Alex T to go. Tetris for Alex T. Another one. Four. Uh, 82. Sidnev, 465. Tetris for Alex T goes to 510 on level 19. Sidnev, 10 lines to 19 and 490k. So still got the lead in terms of pace. Sidnev 538, Alex T 585, clean stacks on both sides. Alex T gonna take a burn there and try to get the wall back open. Oop, but a hang on the left. Sets up a T spin. And T piece, yes, lands a spin and cleans up the right side. 
This ended up getting super high though. And committing to this dig, I don't know if it's going to be possible. It's super high up. These pieces are kind of trash. It's ended up trying to survive. And hanging on for now. That left side needs help. Square is not good. Sinev's going to be done at 571. Alex T has a higher score. It's going to take this game. Pokini. Alex T says BRB again. <laughs> what do you what do you keep living to do? I don't get it. Trolling us. You know, it's all a game for Alex T. All right, we got readies. Let's go into game four. Three, two, one, Tetris. Ooh, nice uh, burn set up by Sidnev there, the upright L on the right side. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Tetris for both players, 73k for Sidnev, 93k for Alex T in the early moments. Stacks on both sides. Looking pretty good. Tetris for Sidnev goes to 120. Tetris for Alex T. Tetris for Tetris Alex T. Sit there with a Tetris and a clean stack. <laughs> Are there any Dassers left? It sounds like they've been exterminated. <laughs> Are there any survivors? <laughs> Tass is extinct.
All right, 331 for Sidnev, 361 for Alex T. Pretty close game. There's Tetris stacking. You know, they're putting the blocks together. And they're clearing four lines at a time with the beam. You're over 15, you are too old for tap. Uh, explain Corian. is not over 15. What, are you kidding me? I, mean, I don't know. That guy is at least, he's like, okay, at least 20. Lowry subscribed. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the support. 452 for Sidnev. 567 for Alex T. Alex T got 10 lines until level 19. Sidnev working on cleanup right now. Uh, that T piece is pretty nice. The Nev working it down. And Alex T six sixteen. Pretty close to a six fifty transition, but I don't think it's quite within reach. There's a Tetris six forty. That's a pretty high transition. There's a Tetris 667. Sidnev has got his work cut out for him, that's for sure. Tetris for Alex was 693. Tetris for Alex into level 21 with 721. Sidnev 538. So about 100k down uh, when both players were at 19. I right, sit up with a square hang on the left side. It's gonna be rough. There's a triple with the L. And looking for a long bar. Hello, hello. Got a long bar here. Okay, Sidnev gets a burn on the left side with a J. And trying to keep it together. Put this right side and the left side. They're both so messed up. Sidnev trying to survive. Gets a nice five tap on that long bar. Okay. Staying alive. Level 20, level 21. And getting a few burns. Keeping it together so far. Sidnev is staying alive, but it's going to take more than survival to beat Alex T here. Because he's at 810,000. Sidnev is at 572. With only two levels to make that score up. And Sidnev not getting great pieces now. Throws the long bar all the way into column one. That could have been a mistake. No. Sidnev is going to be done at 573. Alex T is good. And wow, Alex T can go so aggressive. This is insane. <laughs> you kidding me? Oh my god. Well done, Alex. You'll be moving on into the semis. And you've just won 25 bucks. Congratulations. Give you the heart. Boom.